This is the first diode, 582 voltage. This is the second diode. Let's check the second one. Here we have the first diode. Here we have the second diode. First diode, second diode. So these three diodes are serviceable. So here, as you can see in this laptop motherboard, this is a standard diode that we find near to the power jack. Okay? So here we have the cathode, this white mark or white line, and here we have the anode. So now let's test this diode using the multimeter. So let's put the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode. And let's see what we will get in the multimeter. Normally we should get about 700, 600 voltage, as you can see. So this diode is a good diode. It's not shorted. Okay? So if I swap the props, I should not get anything in the multimeter. We should just get one, as you can see. So this protection diode is a good diode. Near to the power jack you will find protection diodes and also near to the battery connector. As you can see, this is basically the battery connector. Here we have a protection diode. Remember, if you like this type of content, just let me know in the comments and I will do more videos about this content. So this test, so always the anode is connected to the ground as you can see. The anode is connected to the ground. We have zero, zero in the multimeter. Okay. And the cathode must be connected to the power rail. Zero in the multimeter, as you can see. Here we have two red cables, means two lines, two power lines, as you can see. Okay. That's why we call this kind of diode protection diode. So if there is any high tension, this diode will blow out and will be shorted and then it will protect the whole motherboard. Remember that always near to the power jack or the battery connector in the laptop motherboard you will find SMD diodes, exactly the protection diodes, okay? As you can see, this kind of diodes, here we have D as you can see, okay? And of course, always the anode will be connected to the ground and the cathode to the power rail in order to protect the motherboard. As you can see here near to the battery connector, we have this diode. Also, this is a protection diode. Here we have its cathode and here we have the anode. For this motherboard also, the diode near to the power jack and also for the battery connector, we should find a diode near to it. In the back of this battery connector we have the diode as you can see pd2 okay so the reference for diodes can be d or pd okay so here we have another motherboard as you can see we have the diode here the diode for the power jack and for the battery connector we have its protection diode as you can see so let's test right now these diodes, as you can see, these small SMD diodes, as you can see. We're gonna test, we're gonna test it using the multimeter, of course. Always the multimeter should be in the diode option. And then the red probe in the anode and the black probe of the multimeter in the cathode. And we should get a reading in the multimeter. So let's check, as you can see about 600 drop voltage the diode is good no short no continuity of course if we swap the probes nothing in the multimeter let's check the second one black probe in the cathode red probe in the anode we get a reading we swap the probes nothing in the multimeter we have one in the multimeter automatically the diode is good now we're gonna pass to test the zener diodes as you can see so basically all these diodes 
are zener diodes always will find plus means to anode and to cathode into other side as you can see so always we're gonna use the multimeter of course and we're gonna select the diode option and let's get started here we have a drop voltage about 690 if we swap the probes nothing in the multimeter good diode let's check the second one the red probe in the anode or plus side the black probe in the cathode we get a reading this one also we get a reading if we swap the props nothing in the multimeter good diode good diode if we swap the props one means nothing in the multimeter the same for others we have 610 drop voltage we swap the props nothing in the multimeter the diode is good let's check the other one here we have 600 70 drop voltage nothing in the multimeter let's check the last one 600 drop voltage we swap the probes nothing in the multimeter all these zener diodes are good now let's pass to double diode testing double smd diode testing as you can see here this is basically diodes not mosfet not transistor as you can see we have d here means diode okay these three are diodes okay three terminal diodes or double diodes here as you can see we have q 1030 q this is basically mosfets and transistors okay we have also q here q so always pay attention do not confuse between double diodes and transistors and mosfets so let's test right now this double diodes we're gonna put the red probe here in the first pin and we should find two diodes two drop voltage this is the first diode 580 drop voltage this is the second diode this is good let's check the second one here we have the first diode here we have the second diode first diode second diode so these three diodes are serviceable 